This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 23. Get over here! It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. And gets sacks and interceptions all game. <laughs> So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using results like this, stick around after the intro. The here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The plays in today's video can be found once again in my Pittsburgh Steelers offense and my multi D defensive ebooks as these are my two favorite playbooks to use right now. I just put out a brand new Steelers offensive ebook for people that have been asking as well as a full breakdown video on both my Patreon and Join Now community tab. Links in the description below for more information. Today I'm going to be using the Washington Commanders as this team definitely had the most requests in the comment section but I've been avoiding using them because they have one of the worst quarterback situations in the entire game. I mean choosing which quarterback to use between Carson Wentz, Taylor Heineke and Sam Howell is like choosing how he would like to be tortured because they all suck. You are trash! So I ended up going with Sam Howell because he has good speed, the best throw power, and he beat the Cowboys in real life, so he's a winner in my book. Washington is a decent team outside of the quarterback situation, but of course this is the day that I get matched up with two top 100 players in a row who are using much better teams, starting with the overpowered 49ers. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. I start this game on a D Defense, and the first thing I'm going to do is set up my coaching adjustments as I always use the same ones. First, I set my zone to match, then my curl flats to 15 and my flats to 5. These are probably the most important, but I also like to set my cornerback matchups to overall and my ball in the air defense to play receiver. The defensive formation should look familiar as it's been one of the most meta formations over the last couple years, and that is the nickel 3 3 cub. But I guarantee that the setup I'm going to show you guys today is very unique and it can be used in any formation in the game that has cover for match in it. For my substitutions, I also like to put a safety at the middle linebacker spot and safety. Percy Butler because he has a 92 speed which is perfect for my user and I finally get to set up my audible plays which include the defense I'm going to be showing you guys today in the cover for show two. I also have the outside linebacker blitz one the Sam will blitz three and the Mike blitz zero which is going to be the play they use on the next play. For this play though I never come out in the man zero blitz as it's too easy to read and attack so a trick I found to hide this blitz is by coming out first in the blitz linebacker lurk one. I do this so that the defense looks like a cover one shell or maybe even a cover three with a single high safety. Safety. The key to this is that the middle linebacker starts the play in the middle of the defense just like the Mike Blitz Zero instead of out wide somewhere in man coverage, which would give away the shift. I then walk the safety down and audible the play to the Mike Blitz Zero in hopes that he thinks I'm just playing the middle zone aggressively without knowing that I switch defenses entirely, and since the middle linebacker doesn't move, he shouldn't suspect anything. I then like to blitz my user and hover any gap in hopes that I get a free blitzer in, and on the next play it works to perfection. <laughs> He runs a hurry up and I do it again, but this time he connects right over the middle to get back to a third and seven before calling a hurry up once again. And this is the first time I'm going to call the defense that this video is about in the cover for match. I typically like to bring the safeties down if I suspect run or a short pass. So in a tight look formation like this with no receivers split out too wide, I can simply pinch the defense. The coverage adjustments though is what makes this defense work. I'm going to change both safety assignments. First, I'm going to man one of the safeties to either the star receiver or the slot receiver since they typically get the most used. And on this play, they're both one the same since Debo is in the slot. After that, I'm going to put the other safety into an inside third to cover both areas left by the two safeties. But it goes way deeper than that, as this setup completely takes away just about every one play touchdown option in the game. As cover four and cover two defenses, both man and zone, are both usually beat the exact same way by trying to split the middle safeties deep down the center of the field. Only now there are no safeties to split. Cover three concepts won't work here either because the outside cornerbacks won't react like cover three cornerbacks, making this defense impossible to beat deep. He motions across one of the receivers into a bunch, so I decide to hard flat before the snap to protect against short throws, and sure enough, he passes to the superstar in the slot right over the middle, who gets immediately tackled short of the first by the man coverage safety. He hurries me up again to go for it on fourth and two, so I set up my defense the exact same way, only this time, I get stuck in Deron Payne for my user, and even though he's a slow defensive tackle, I'm still able to cut off the throw, How about no? and we get a stop to end the drive. 
On offense, I'm still using the gun tight doubles formation that I put out videos about last week as I think this is one of the best in the game, but I am mostly going to be focusing on defense in this video. So if you want to see more about this offense, I will have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video. So stick around for that. My opponent plays very good defense though, obviously with the Niners, as he gets me into a quick fourth and three from midfield that I have to go for as he bites on the drag on the very next play, leaving the deep end wide receiver wide open. I use that exact same concept a little bit later in the drive, only this time he leaves the drag wide open for another first down before he gets me into a third and long that I almost pick up with Sam Howell's legs to get into a fourth and one. I decide to go for it from here and I almost score and get picked off simultaneously at the one yard line before Sam Howell finishes the job. Back on defense, I tried that man zero switch thing one more time, but this time he picks up on it and gets a huge play to Debo to get inside a field goal range on the very first play of the drive. I switch to cover three on the next play, and for some reason, every single time he flips the play, the cover three cornerbacks glitch out and do nothing. So with those two plays failing on back-to-back -back plays, I decided to go back to the cover four slash cover three hybrid that I created, which doesn't glitch out at all, and on the very next play, we get a stop for just a few yards. He is on the hash mark to the open side of the field, so I start using the Mabel concept to the open side and manning Debo, but he hits him to get to the one yard line before punching him on the next play. Damn it! He only leaves me 13 seconds on the clock and comes out in prevent, but I think that I can at least get a field goal out of this. The first play though flies out of bounds due to Sam Howell's inaccuracy before I take the check down over the middle the next play to get into a Hail Mary distance. I see the prevent he is running is a cover three, but it looks like some sort of cover two, so I choose the steal a shot fade as this is one of the glitchiest plays in the game that beats just about every single defense. I never labbed it against prevent though, but I am wondering if it can beat this coverage also. So I make my normal adjustment and throw it into a crowd of four Niners players only to moss every single one of them and score with no time remaining i watched the replay of him barely getting over the line and i literally was expecting a booth review or something but what i got instead was an instant rage quit i was shocked afterwards that i made a top 100 player quit so easily and went to the next game thinking i would never be able to use such a short game for a video only to run to another top 100 player in the very next game using these cincinnati Bengals this time i start this game out on offense this time and he gets me into a quick fourth and three that i barely pick up on a crosser before i read cover zero in the very next play and switch to the shot fade cross one more time break yourself fool <laughs> From here, I take a drag one more time to get down to the one before I switch over to the halfback quick base to punch it in. On the next play, I switch over to the cover one zero to the man zero blitz once again at the exact right time. I try again on the very next play, but he reads it right away and he gets inside of the red zone. He spreads me out in the very next play, so I switch to the cover three, but he beats me underneath on a zig route before I go back to cover zero on the next play as he scores with a glitchy RPO play. Back on offense, he is now running cover three, so I set up some streaks to go right up the seam with the tight end and get in the field goal range before going right back to the shot fade cross setup one more time and absolutely bodying him for both a touchdown and a PI call that I totally initiated. <laughs> On the ensuing kickoff though, I usually kick to the fullback, but was feeling confident in my coverage skills for some reason. The payback's a motherfucker, ain't it? Not doing that again. So right back on offense, I try to shot fade cross one more time, and this time he actually didn't peed me as he basically runs over my receiver. How dare you! So I'll take the PI call one more time to get in the field goal range. From here I wanted to kill clock, so I run the halfback base on back-to-back -back plays to get into the red zone. I want to run more clock from here, but that plan falls apart. So on 3rd and 21, when I see him back everyone off and cover zero once again, I switch over to the bench for an easy score. Since he starts coming out in an empty backfield look, I decide to switch over to defense with more DBs and the quarter normal from another defense I am experimenting with from the three double buzz. The concept I use here is pretty similar, only this time I'm going to use the hook zones as man defenders since they don't cover very well anyways. And he completes the first pass in the tight coverage before we get to stop on the next play on the ground. He calls a hurry up as we almost get an interception on the next play before spreading me out on third down, allowing me to guess pass on the next play as Chase Young pins his ears back for the sack. Cover 3 leaves huge holes up the seam, however, that the Cover 4 hybrid does not. On the next one, I'm trying to man the slot receiver only to get stuck on him in coverage as I have to just watch the tight end get wide open over the middle, and now I just can't keep up the pace of his offense as he gets inside the 5 before finishing off the drive on the ground to tie the game. Damn it! 
In the second half, I finally go back to my cover four defense as cover four is naturally one of the best run defenses in the game since the safeties play the run first. I switch over to the cover four out of the nickel 3-3 on the next play to give him a different look. And the front is not as effective, but he still doesn't get much. Before the game just ends for some reason in the exact same fashion. I don't think he actually rage quit like my first opponent, but I still wanted to show this game since I figured you guys probably wanted to see me play against high level competition to see how I match up, and I got the win against both of them. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more from the offenses and defenses I was using in today's video, I'll once again have links to them popping up on screen. So just click them as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. We should out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.